Welcome back to IRI TV in association with Tonians. Uh, again, thanks to Zion Sport for sponsoring this passing segment. Today we're going to look at the scrum half passing. Before we go into it, we're going to kind of look at some of the basic objectives and then sort of the green focus points at the beginning level. Alright, so some of the basic objectives for us as scrum half servants, we want to maintain momentum. Okay? There's no point in us getting the ball to space and a scrum half not being in the position to be able to maintain the momentum. The next one is obviously the speed of the delivery itself, okay, so how are we actually quick enough getting the ball from A to B without actually really, really looking on hand position on the ball, all that type, type of thing. And then the next one is accuracy of the pass. Okay, if we can maintain momentum, we can quicken up the delivery and we can be accurate, all right, we're in a good position to achieve a better sort of speed and tempo on the game. Okay, for the green, the focus points, again, the big one that kind of gets often overlooked is arrival time and time in our arrival. Okay, so there's no point in a scrum half being in the middle of the rope when people are clearing past, so it's how he actually organises himself and reads the sort of the, the speed of the play to um, assess his arrival time. Again, foot position in relation to where it is on the ball. Again, when we go out and have a look at the practical element outside, it'll be a bit clearer. The big thing for me when we're starting off, especially with young players, is how we actually transfer that weight. Okay, so. If I was to use this ball as my sort of guide and I'm going to pass out that way and I try and generate the power and pass from here, it's not really going to make much of a difference, okay? I'm just going to shovel it on. Whereas if I can actually get into the middle, I'm going to be able to transfer my weight a bit more, but same. If I can position myself left shoulder or left foot in at the ball, open up and really drive and transfer my weight from left to right to pull my hands, okay, I'm going to be in a much better position to actually generate power on the pass, okay, which will bring about that speed of delivery. So, key focus points, okay, arriving and arrival in relation to our foot position, our foot position in relation to our weight transfer, and then that will give us an accuracy of pass. Okay, so same again, in position here, ball, left hand side, which will be my left foot, in, transfer my weight, left to right, deliver, all right, the pass towards the target. Okay, that'll become clearer when we go outside and actually look at it in a more practical setting. See you outside. Hey, we're outside now looking to put that theory into practice. Okay, so we've got Alex here who's uh, St. Fintan's star scrum half and the under 18s and future first team captain in the club. All right, thanks to Alex for coming along. So the first one we talked about inside was that arrival into the foot position, into weight transfer. Okay, so we're just going to look at the arrival first off. Okay, so obviously within the game, okay, we arrive at the breakdown as a scrum half from lots of different angles. So we've got our breakdown here where all the balls are positioned. Okay, so we're just going to run through the arrival first and the foot position before we look at the actual pass itself all right so I'm gonna get Alex to start on the white okay if I say white he's just gonna run forward square to the breakdown and pass as if he's kind of hitting his pot of forwards moving around and his entry point is straight into the breakdown okay every time he's gonna make a pass I'll call another color and he's just gonna adjust his footwork work back to that middle breakdown okay and then look to sort of mimic the pass focusing on that foot position is that clear for you Alex okay ready white yeah good red bouncing out tracking our feet in good blue good yellow and green okay perfect okay so one of the things you notice there, even with Alex in that position, okay, so next we're going to do one more, actually, we'll go straight into the passing, but I want him focusing on, okay, that foot position that he's aggressive just in behind the ball, okay, because then we want to basically mean we're going to drive my right foot, if I'm a right, you, yeah, you're right, yeah, passing this way, okay, so if I can get in close with my right foot, it means my left hand is going to be directly in over the ball, okay, so I'm not trying to do this in this position here. All right, we'll talk about the reasons why probably in the follow on in the iron section. Okay, so that we're gonna just, every time you pass one, all right, I want you to transfer your weight when you come in. All right, so I want you to overload on that right. Okay, and I want you to spring off towards the target. Okay, then reposition another ball on the cone, then go back to the white every time. Okay, blue. Get that foot position in nice and close, transfer that weight. Yeah, good. Yellow. Drive that foot position in. Yeah, just yeah, just yeah, there we go, perfect. Green, foot position, transfer the weight. Good, red, 
set another one if you want. I'll just get in there and pass. Okay, what about that last one? Flicky or follow through? Flicky. Okay, flicky, all right. So hit, we'll hit three more. Okay, so I want them to really focus on that weight transfer. Okay, the easiest thing for us as coaches is to see if there's a weight transfer, okay, if there's a follow through to the pass. So if I get Alex to stand out in that position there, okay, and I'm very passive with my arrival and I'm in this position here, if I kind of do that, okay, that's, I haven't transferred my weight, all right? I've probably transferred it a small bit from left to right, but I'm talking in terms of a full weight transfer, okay? I'm in this position here, driving, getting set and then I'm actually transferring my weight so we should visually see our scrum half on the move. Okay, and that's got a knock-on effect for being in position for the next breakdown. Okay, so we can just bring in that simple sort of say, that Superman finish. Okay, transfer your weight, get the ball, or sorry, transfer your weight and finish with your hand towards the target in that Superman style. Okay, again, we'll do the same. We'll play around with that arrival. Okay, but let's make sure we're getting that tray close foot contact to the ball. Yeah. And then that really overload on that. Be aggressive, spring, and then Superman out towards me. Okay, you ready? Yellow. Good, red. Okay, you get that ball position. Get, get your foot right up to the ball. Green, whichever ball it is, just getting in that position. Yeah, good. Blue. Be more, be more aggressive with the follow through. There we go. Okay, so that's a really, really simple thing we can just do with our scrum halves, working on the different rival position. Okay, test them coming in from different angles and making sure they're aware of how important it is to get that close foot contact. Okay, and then that weight transfer off the right onto the left with the Superman finish. Okay. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next bit. Okay, so we're just going to look at the reason why we might try and get that foot position in nice and close to the ball, alright? There is a reason, it's not just someone making it up, i.e. me. Okay, so I've, the ideal one, if Alex is passing just where this white cone is in behind the ball, okay? That's the idea, where we're in that foot position there. So I'm just going to ask Alex to kind of pass all three, taking into account his foot position should be in line with that. And let's just get a bit of feedback for him, from him, from the player, to actually get him to understand why he might try and really be, I suppose, concentrating on that foot position and arrival. Okay, so passing that first one, when the ball's nearly, no, no, this is the first one here. So we're just gonna plant that right foot as if you're addressing the first one. No, yeah, but you're gonna go open it. So it's gonna be further off, off the middle onto your left foot. So it's hopefully, it's gonna feel natural. Okay, go. Okay, what do, how do we feel on that one? Does it feel like it's a bit further away, you're dragging the ball? Okay, yeah, a bit more of a stretch, probably anything on the weight transfer then? Yeah, just kind of felt neutral. Okay, yeah, we weren't kind of overloading, he felt, said we felt, felt neutral. Okay, which means he's probably then trying to generate a bit more wrist speed, not actually relying on his full body. Okay, so go to the middle one. Better? Yeah, do better. A bit better. Okay, so then just drag that last ball across. Okay, perfect. All right, so hopefully in that one, we can actually then just sort of say, make your players actually practice from those different positions and get them to see the importance of actually getting that foot closing to the ball, okay? So I can then transfer my body weight and I'm all in one motion towards the target, as opposed to I'm in motion, then I sort of pull this hand back and I'm sort of count contradicting my own movement. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. See you in a bit.